Hello everyone, welcome back to another 2v2 Warhammer battle. This is going to be a Balthazar Gelt led Empire and a King Lewin? Yeah, King Lewin led Bretonian ally versus two Vampire Counts. I had another Balthazar Gelt army that had three grenade launcher outriders and a steam tank, but I didn't think it would do that well against double Vampire Counts, so I switched it up a little bit to get two uh, Demogriff Knights with halberds and then three normal outriders instead of the grenade version, uh, which we currently have Vanguard deployed. My main line here didn't really change from the other build, though. I'll probably try and run those. I really want to run a grenade launcher build at some point. Um, but again, I don't think double double vampire counts is a good one to do that on. We have two flagellants in the main line with three great swords. Behind them, we have upgraded spearmen to try and hold against the fear and terror of the enemy uh, vampire counts. And we also have one group of halberdiers. And of course, Balthazar Gelt with the Plague of Rust, his special item, and the um, metal raining down from the sky spell. Whatever the hell that thing's called. Uh, for over here, for Bretonia, we have a front line of a mix of spearmen at arms. We have men at arms with pole arms, and we have two foot squires. Yeah, we have two foot squires here, and again, more men at arms with pole arms. They are protecting four peasant bowmen with another men at arms behind them, and two catapults being led by King Lewin, a paladin, and we also have a knight of the realm and a questing knight. Yeah, questing knight over here. For the vampire counts, this player has a front line of zombies. Behind them, we have skeletal warriors, the Sternsmen, a grave guard with great weapons being led by Vlad von Karstein, Claude Nagash, White King, two black coaches, and then this player also has two black knights over here, which is a very cheap cap. For the second Vampire Count player, they have two Blood Knights deployed in this forest, and the rest of their army is going to be mostly cheap infantry. We have a couple skeletal warriors, front line of skeletal um, swordsmen, I guess I should say skeletal warriors with spearmen, and then we have two Grave Guard behind there, Terra Guys, Samantha von Karstein, if, I don't know if I said that already, and then a random group of zombies, just I think that they forgot to deploy in the front line, and that is going to be the armies. So over here, I'm going to rush our Outriders up to try and uh, harass this Terror Geist. I assumed that there would be Blood Knights, but I didn't see any. I see these two Black Knights over here, and I'm like, hmm, that's odd. But so like, okay, I'm just going to go over here and try and shoot this Terror Geist. I'm also going to be pulling up these units who are currently stealth because of the way this forest is. Uh, but you can see they come out of stealth here briefly, but then we're going to get them into this forest. And the idea is to have these two units support a fight with the Outriders in case they get caught. That is the idea. And you can see Manfred... He's actually going to want to try and charge our Outriders here. And I'm like, well, okay. So I'm going to get Gelt over here. He is on his flying mount. I'm going to do, put these guys into melee to try and hold Manfred down. And now we're going to assault from the forest with the two Dimmies. This player's Blood Knights are way over here. And they are not going to be able to respawn to these Demogriff Knights very fast. And you see we are going to be able to pin Manfred von Karstein here. He's going to hit our rollout through a drift fight with a Fate of Buna. He's also going to cast a Spirit Leech on Balthazar Gelt. I'm casting a Plague of Rust on Manfred, just a normal one, non-upgraded, because he doesn't really have that much armor anyway. And these are Demigriff Knights, which have a lot of armor piercing, so I just wanted to help them a little bit. Going to get our Outriders out of here now that this group of zombies is being cast. And our Demis are just going to go to town on Manfred von Karstein. And his Blood Knights are eventually going to be pulled out of this forest, but it's going to be a little too late. Uh, Manfred is having a very bad day right there. Meanwhile, over here, the second Vampire Count player is marching forward towards my Bretonian ally who is hitting them with the uh, two catapults here. I believe these Peasant Bowmen are going to start focusing down the Mortis, or the Claw of Nagash here, very soon. And these Questing Knights are going to engage against the double Black Knights with a Paladin support. Meanwhile, the Knights of the Realm and King Luan are going to go pull back over here and assist the Bretonian mainline. That's what's going to happen there. Then over here, Manfred von Karstein is trying to escape. He did cast Invocation of the Heck, but it is far too late. The two Demigraf units are too much for him. Again, the Blood Knights were way too far away to support him, and we are going to disengage from these summoned zombies, and now we're going to go over here. And this player was so concerned about Manfred and micromanaging him and these Blood Knights that he wasn't moving his army up, so seeing as this count player is already about to hit our ally, I am now going to withdraw my army, and we're going to build a secondary line here, hit him on the left flank here, and uh, get our Outriders over here. Ba basically, everything is coming over here because these guys are very slow. And it's going to take them a while to engage. So we're going to try and do a 2v1 here. Uh, these Quest Knights are about to go and engage against the Black Knights. You can see the two Black Coaches coming in on the flanks over here at the Minute Arms and over here at the Minute Arms. That was a Winds of Death, but cast uh, a little poorly. Only caught a bit of this unit. Um, that could have been a lot, a lot scarier. Uh, but luckily, it only caught one Minute Arms. We're going to try and plug the gap that the Minute Arms and the Spearmen are creating with our flagellants and a unit of great swords and again we're just going to be coming over here and try and support these um, peasant bowmen is my idea of what we're going to do because we got a long time before these guys become a threat all we have to worry about is the terror guys because they're mobile and these blood knights because they're mobile you can see Balthazar Gout casting some spells this spell like it doesn't do insane amount of damage but it's so cheap and it's a nice little AoE so it's an easy spammable spell and it does add up over time 
Uh, and again, we're just still pulling up everything over here. I'm going to be targeting the Mortis engine here. Uh, you can see it did pull back temporarily again because I think it was being focused down by those pesos. You can see how the Knights of Rome doing a rear charge on these Grave Guard and Sternsmen. Uh, but they are going to get a little bit caught by some zombies. And the two Black Knights over here, they actually did better than, to the Quest Knights than I thought they would. Um, I mean, the Quest Knights are still over half slightly, and they did a lot of damage to the two Black Knights. But still, like, Quest Knights are pretty strong. Especially against like Black Knights, I would think, but they did better than I thought. Uh, Vlad Von Karstein is going to be chasing these running soldiers off over here, and he's going to be kind of hanging out here for a bit. I'm going to try and tie down these black coaches. I got one with a spearman. I'm going to give him some halberd uh, reinforcements along with a demon Griff knight unit, and then the other black coach we've just had tied up over here with our great swords and our flagellants. We're also dealing with some skeletal warriors, and you see our outriders now dealing with the mortis engine, who I did cast a normal plague of rust on to try and help focus him down even faster. I'm also going to send our royal auto griffites against this white king over here. Because he is harassing our uh, friend's field trebuchet. So one Demi Gravito is over here against the Claw, or against the Black Coast. The other one's going to go into the White King. And again, we're just trying to assist the front line of the Bretonian army, which is uh, collapsing under the fear and terror of the Vampire Count. So we're just going to be reinforcing where we can. We got King Lewin over here dealing with the two Graveguard who have had a massive amount of damage dealt to them. Knights of Realm are almost dead uh, because of the Graveguard they were fighting. And the Questing Knights have also taken a lot of damage from these two Black Knights. They're going to try and finish off the second Black Knight over there with the Paladin Assistance. And still, the secondary army is still moving up. And they're going to be moving up over here before they st start their attack. But they will get their Blood Knights in here into the Catapult and charging into the rear of my Greatswords, which, which was a good charge. Meanwhile, over here, I'm going to have my Outriders try and help focus down uh, this Terror Guys because it's really scary. And I also upgraded the Plague of Rust on him because I'm going to be throwing the Flagellants. And the Flagellants don't really do armor increasing damage, but that's why we got the upgraded Plague of Rust because now its armor is only at 20. So, and it's also melee defense isn't insane like 34 is okay but the flashes with their 33 and then frenzy is going to be able to get through some hits on the terror guys so that's why i cast the plague of rest to try and help the flashes bring this thing down meanwhile we are also trying to deal with the blood knights i'm trying to get all of our great swords and our spearmen that are nearby to intercept their charge but they are going to be able to charge king lewin and my royal auto group fights and at this point if I was to try and pull my Royal Auto Gear Fights away from just this massive amount of infantry and these Blood Knights, they would just take a lot of free damage. So I'm just going to let them tank it out right now. And I'm also going to uh, throw in our secondary Demigrave Knights who are dealing with this Terror Guys. I'm going to put them into the Blood Knights who I'm also firing on with our three Outriders back here. Flat Car sign is right over here dealing with our Halberds. Not really being a threat, honestly. Um, dealing with the Halberd group is fine with me because we're taking out their Blood Knights right now with the Outriders and with the assistance of the Bretonian Peasants. And now I can see that this second player is finally getting into position. I'm imagining they're going to try and flank these Peasants and our Outriders, so I'm now throwing Flagellants in here. I'm throwing our Spearmen over here to try and hold them. And then I'm also going to be throwing in um, these Great Swords as well here very soon as we still try and finish up these two Blood Knights who are surrounded by our Great Swords, our Spearmen, our two Demigur Knight units. They did manage to finally route my roll up to Griffites, but now we have Questing Knight support that came back from their... Um, Quest to kill the Black Knights, which they have, and now they are coming in just in time to finish off the Blood Knights with our with our Demigrip Knights. Now we are focusing on the Terror Guys. Glad my car is gonna be chasing our Howards over here, and it's gonna be quarreling or fighting with these three men at arm units and the foot squires. I am going to just mostly ignore Glad my car I will send one outrider to try and shoot him in the back, but then I'm going to disengage the outrider eventually. And now I'm pouring all my infantry over here to deal with the second vampire count player who has only two grave guard. Everything else is pretty low-tier infantry. And you can see we have the two great swords. I'm going to cast a couple of the um, Barbarman spells over here with Gelt. And I'm just having him hover over the areas of battle where I feel like I need his encouraging aura. Um, I don't really put Gelt into melee because I never want to forget him and then have him just die. Uh, so I'm just having him fly over and give his encouraging aura to our troops down there to keep the leadership up. Meanwhile, I'm going to be pulling these Outriders around and behind because they are very mobile. They're pretty quick. And I'm going to have him start shooting into the backs of this army. Meanwhile, over here, Vladimir Karstein is just tanking it out, and that's fine, because he's kind of far away from the battle. That kind of matters. Over here, meanwhile, we have finally killed the Terror Geist with the help of our Kingdom and ally and these knights. And now the Peasant Bowmen are firing into this clump of Skeletal Warriors and uh, Zombies, while our Flagellants are holding the line. Um, men at Arms and Greatswords are holding this center. And then over here, Flash is holding this with the help of the Men at Arms that came back from routing. Now our Outriders are coming into position. Gel just cast an Overcast of the Bombardment, which looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to cast a Plague of Rust um, Overcast on these Grave Guard, because they're kind of one of the only units left that has any kind of threat. So the Greatswords do even additional damage to them now that they only have 30 armor. And this is when the Vampire Counts are going to break due to losses. You don't need to kill Vlad. He's tanky, he's annoying. Sometimes all you have to do is kill his army. And he will rout. He is not unbreakable. And so that is what I decided to do. I was like, eh. Also, our ally was doing a good job just holding him back. Um, 
In fact, I think they doubled their down their efforts because I think they threw King Lewin and the Knights in there to try and kill him as well. Uh, but good game to the Vampire Counts. It was unfortunate they lost Mare for so early, but um, that player must have thought they would be able to get out of that situation really quickly. They saw my Demigriff Knights. I was trying to be super sneaky and get them into the forest before the line of sight uh, would reveal them. They were revealed for a few seconds before they got into the forest, so I don't know. Maybe the player just wasn't focusing on them. Maybe they didn't see them, or they did, and they thought that, ah, I'm on Manfred on a flying mount. I can get out if, you know, really easily. But my Outriders held him down just long enough, because he was about to get out, uh, but held him down long enough just for those Demigriff Knights to get in there and finish him. And that was um, a critical part of the victory there, uh, shutting down a Manfred when he has mostly full magic. He did cast a zombie invocation, Fate of Buna, and a Spirit Leech. So I guess he did use a lot of Winds of Magic there, but still, shutting him down early is, is really good if you can do that. So he fell for the prop. Archon prop. Uh, so for my army here, Belt, or Belt, God, Gelt got zero kills, did a lot of damage with his uh, bombardment spells, and I think did pretty good with the, you know, Plague of Rust. And I, again, I, I try not to throw him into battle because I'm really bad about forgetting units in the mid battle, and especially with weak mages like him, he can just die so quickly. Uh, so I try to keep super safe with him. Rest of my flagellants did really good. Gracers did really good. Outriders sniped targets like they should, and then the Demigur fights were superb. And then for uh, Skinkfu, we have 80 kills on King Luan, 30 on the Paladin. The men at arms with pole arms did really well. Foot squires did really well. Um, always kind of get inflated kills against the vampire accounts because of zombie spams and or summons and skeletal wars and stuff like that. But still, uh, peasant bowmen, I think, I think focused down half of the claw and the gash. I think I, I missed that, but nice, did really well. And even the field trebuchet has got a ton of kills too. For chaos, Vlafon Karstein netting almost 100 kills by himself in melee is pretty. Oh no, no but he also cast that one to death. Still, 100 kills is really good. And the Black Knights lost to the Questing Knights. The Mortis Engine just got focused down before it could do anything crazy. But the Black Coaches, though, they netted 100 kills each. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, that's why I knew I, we had to shut them down quick, and that's why I sent my Demigriff Knights on them. I was like, rawr, Chicken Knights, or Kitty Cav. I'm down with either Chicken Knights or Kitty Cav. I think both were. And then for um, poor Manfred von Karstein here, got four kills before he succumbed to, to his wounds. Uh, the Blood Knights did really well. And then the Terror guys was... Uh, what did it do? It killed some Peasant Bowmen... And then it, it probably killed a couple Demigur fights because I know it was in that fight for a long time. But yeah, the poor man for getting sniped early was unfortunate for them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that battle, everybody. And let's watch a cinematic view of Gelt and, and uh, King Luan. I forgot his name there for a moment. Shoot it down! Shalia, protect us! Ah. Yes, Quickly! To battle! Ah. That is a ballsy man, friend. Kill the necromancer. He did just straight up murder that guy in one hit, though. That's pretty good. To battle. And then he's like, oh shit! Kitty Cav! Trying to walk out, look at him. Get me out of here! It's too late for you, Manfred. What a way to die! Look, look at that! Ain't what the hell is late? Oh my God! Is he cut in half? Like what is this? Yeah, there we go. You can see the peasant bowman focusing down that mortar engine, doing so much damage. So much damage. Something's in there! Something's in there! Oh, one's dead.
Charge off. Oh, that's so bad. Taste gold magic suckers. What's inside? Oh, it's a trick. There's nothing even in there. What the hell is moving the, the coffin then? Really? They don't put anything in there? Like not even a wraith or something? Zero out of ten. I don't... This game sucks. What the hell? Come on, CA. Get on top of that shit. Uh, but anyway, good game to everybody. Hope you enjoyed the fight. 
and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day.